Why you'd want to get one of these is that whenever you're going the toll roads, you'd have to go either in the easy pass or cash lane. Going in the cash lane sucks. I just did it the other day. Someone had a problem with the cash, their cash, they didn't have it or something. They had to make phone calls. It's there for 20 minutes and I almost missed what I was getting to. I had to, I had a limited amount of time and it closed and I was there a few minutes before it, it was terrible. But that doesn't really matter. So we made it there in time, but either way, it could have been awful. It could have been a lot longer going through the cash lane when you could just have your easy pass, go straight through the lane, don't have to stop, don't have to hand any cash, don't have to worry about that at all. So it's definitely worth buying. So how much is it? Paid about $42 for it at the giant food stores. I think you could buy it online for cheaper. Either way, $30, $35 of what you pay for goes into your balance of the easy pass. You then put on a recurring payment, which is a credit card that once your balance goes down to $10, depending on how much you spent, how many toll roads you go on and, and things of that nature, then once it gets down to 10, it'll pull from your credit card and then you're good to go. So that's generally how it works. But yeah, it's, it'll also save your money as well. You save, you don't save that much money unless you're traveling long distance, but just the time saved and, and time with not having to use cash, it's definitely worth buying. And of course, it's only going to benefit you in the long run. So that's why I pick one of these up. You can use it in all these states on the East Coast. So let's get it on. I'm sure that the West Coast has something like this as well. So it's probably called the W's you purchase. They give you three of these little adhesive little thingers to, uh, you know, to attach the easy pass to and then to your windshield with the adhesive. But the thing is though, is that the pass actually does come with two of them already. So you will actually not need these, but you do have extras if you want to, you to mess it up somehow or you want to put it on a different vehicle. But yeah, they, they give you a lot of information and you can look up stuff online. But of course, when you buy it, you want to register within 24 hours to your vehicle. You need your driver's license and all your information and everything within actually, no, not 24, but within 72 hours, you want to make sure you register it to your account and driver's license and license plate number. I guess otherwise then it becomes useless or something. If you look at the website, it looks like it's something out of the late, the early 2000s. The, the site looks very outdated, but it's very easy to use. And the information will be on the box of which you buy it. So I got the transponder right here. It's just this little white device and it reads the antenna or whatever signal they send out at every time you pass through. And of course, if your vehicle doesn't have it or for some reason it's not registered, then I guess you'll get fined in the mail or something. But, I mean, I just went through the steps to not allow that up to happen. So let's get this installed on the car. All right, so this is a cap, caps. This device complies with part 15 of the FCC rules. Operation is subject to the condition that this device does not cause harmful interference. This device is known to the state of California to cause reproductive harm or other birth defects. <laughs> I'm just kidding. All right, so let's get this installed. So you got the dual lock. It's just 3M adhesive, so that's a, at least his name brand, right? That's good. And then basically you want to just uh, test fit of where you want to place it. I'm probably going to place it somewhere right here. You want to place it somewhere that is not going to be visible and your rear view mirror is going to cover it from when you're, whenever you're sitting in the driver's seat. And right about here seems to be a pretty ideal spot. Just got to keep it there. Or you can just always hold it. You can, there's a lot of people that just go like that whenever they get close but this is going to be the full installation so you got the two adhesives right there and you want to pull one off like that and then you got the second one all right so here's the pass i did tape over this because it just shows some information just for privacy purposes you know and then it says uh penna i'm guessing that means uh pennsylvania turnpike and easy pass and of course it says facing up you want that side up there's the back adhesive is ready to go see it basically whenever you're sitting in the driver's seat looking straight don't mess it up is that good now you just want to firmly grasp it sit there for a little bit it's a very hot summer day it's sun's out and all so it's it's definitely gonna seal up there pretty good I'd, i wouldn't want to do this in the winter time but it'd probably work just as well and there we go we did it